Hello, just a mail here and welcome back to another episode of Lucius. I hope everyone's doing wonderful. I am doing great. Now I'm going to pause this real fast because I don't know if the day actually goes on while I stand there or not. Before we get started, I'm going to do a new segment and I hope you guys don't mind, but it's my channel and I can do whatever the hell I want. And my new segment is called what I'm currently drinking and I'm going to pour more of it. And I recorded some beforehand and so I do already have an achievement for an item I'm going to pick up in a second. But um, I spilled the first item that I'm currently drinking all over myself, and it hurt because it's really warm. Actually, it was really hot at the time. And the first thing I'm currently drinking is coffee because I'm a double fris fist fristed. I'm a double fisted drinker, and I like to drink, have multiple things on hand. Um, now, this coffee is just a normal coffee that has been flavored with Torani raspberry and uh, sugar free. And it also has, let's see, it has a little bit of Tarani raspberry and some Splenda in it. And um, it doesn't sound appetizing, but the, it is really good. It, the Tarani is really good. Mm. And I've tried the um, the other flavors. The coconut tastes really good. The only flavoring that doesn't taste good in the coffee is coffee. Um, the other item I currently have is cherry limeade. And this comes in the two, I think it's a two liter. It comes in a, a packet of five or six and it, it makes two liters each packet. Now, the pros of this is that it tastes really good and the taste goes as follows. It starts with a light taste, then it punches you in the face and then it says you're welcome at the end. And it is a very nice flavor, it's really good. Uh, very nice drink, but <laughs> it stains like a motherfucker. If even for a split second it lands on the counter, it, the counter has a pink haze on it, and so you have to bleach it. It's just horrible, but it tastes really good. Um, and see, this is why I wanted to do food or drink reviews, because I enjoy explaining a little more than it's good or it's bad. Now, the other flavoring, which I am not currently drinking, but I have, is... Um, oh, this cherry limeade was the Walmart store brand. So it was great value, I think it's called. And it was only a dollar something. So it wasn't that expensive. It came with five, I think, or six packets of two liter um, packets of this. So that's a lot of drink for the price. Uh, and then the other one I have is Crystal Light, which cost almost a dollar more, I think. And it is the stro Strawberry Banana Orange. Now that's a lighter flavor. That's a nice light tone. Starts off with the strawberry, you get a light, little creaminess of the banana, and it ends with orange. So the, there's no aftertaste at the end. It goes from strawberry to banana to orange, and then nothing. Unlike the cherry limeade, where the, the cherry um, stays in your mouth for a while afterwards. But it's really, really good, and I suggest them both. They're sugar-free. Um, so if you have diabetes or you just don't want as much sugar intake as you had, and I admit that, um, I have someone in the family who has diabetes and, um, 10, 15 years ago, <laughs> eating was so hard without Splenda and other artificial sweeteners. It was horrible. And the artificial sweeteners they did have, or the other stuff that wasn't just sugar, weren't the best tasting. You just had to do it, you know? But now with Splenda and stuff, it's amazing what can happen. And usually with me, I when I have when I have soda, I drink diet. Too much sugar gives me headaches, and um, I do get a little hyper, and I want to dance around and jump out of windows and stuff. Not <laughs> out of excitement, I should say out of excitement, with too much sugar. So I have I have the uh, sugar free stuff. And then uh, once in a while I'll have a sugary soda, but the sugary sodas in the United States are way too sweet. There is a big difference between the stuff made with pure sugar and the stuff made with um, artificial, um, uh, what is high fructose corn syrup, I think is what we use here in the United States. But um, there's a giant difference between sweetness. But so most of the time I have the sugar-free stuff. And when I have candy, it's usually both. Um, but anyway, yeah, try this stuff. Um, let me know what you're currently drinking in the in, in the comments below and this will happen every once in a while It won't happen all the time. Don't worry And I'll make this episode extra long because I yapped for the first couple minutes And the reason why I wanted to do it is because I enjoy my subscribers and I enjoy talking to you guys and I want a little bit of personal Stuff at the beginning of my 
episodes. I just don't want to be, hi, my name's Jezdemel, and you're watching my videos. I have, you know, no care for my subscribers. I care about you guys. Talk about your favorite drink in the comments. Tell me what you liked the most. Tell me, like, you went to a place and got a particular drink that you fell in love with. I will try to find that drink. If you're in a, if you're of the age to drink and you've had a beverage that you really enjoyed, I'll try to look it up. <coughs> I'll let you know right now that one of my favorite sodas in the world, well, one of them is Surge because they just brought it back to, but it's um, full sugar and I cannot have too much of it. Um, one of my favorite drinks in the world, which if I have to have sugar intake, I want it to be this soda is Pepsi's apple soda. It's called something soul. I can't remember the name of it. And a long time ago, you used to only get it in select stores because it's a product, I believe of Mexico. And all it is, is a apple soda. And it is so good. If you find it, which I'm going to let you know, um, if you live in the United States and have a Winco or any place like that, they sell them there and they sell them in 12 packs and they sell them in, um, two liter bottles. Uh, and, uh, I don't know if, I don't know any other place that sells them, personally. The container is red, so the label is red, and on it has a picture of, like, a sun with an apple shape on it, and it's yellow and, uh, red and green, I believe, and then, um, it just says something soul on it. I can't remember the first word, I'm sorry. Best drink ever. Tastes like apples, tastes like soda, um, not like Coke or anything, but it's just like a carbonated apple juice with not any apple in it <laughs> but yes that's the best thing in the world but yeah please leave in the comments what you like what you like to drink if you're drinking piss right now let me know you shouldn't be drinking piss but you're drinking it anyway so let's get started and for anyone who's bored i'm sorry that i started on this oh and i should say this too if i haven't gosh darn it <clears throat> let me cough first i'm doing a bazillion percent better it's just i'm still having trouble with my allergies um let me get real close to the microphone for this Tomorrow, or Monday, I will be working on the Long War Mod voices. So if you were wondering, I'll be doing that tomorrow or Monday. <laughs> so tomorrow or Monday, I'll be doing the Long War Mod. And as soon as the stuff will be approved, I will have a video up of the voices of some of them, if anyone's interested. Uh, so, because I've been asked by a couple people when I was going to do it. I got a hold of the people. The people who are doing the Long War mod, give them your support. Because they are so nice. I let them know I was sick. Um, I ended up having a really bad case of bronchitis, if people didn't know. And then my asthma was acting up. And I was literally sick with a cold to bronchitis to, um, other stuff from October until probably about two weeks ago. <laughs> I was sick for that long. Because I, I had a cold, I had bronchitis, then my asthma in, in inhaler stopped working, and so I had an asthma attack for about two and a half weeks. It wasn't uh, deadly, but I was very lucky I didn't move around too much because that would have been a big problem. So I just had trouble breathing constantly. Um, and now I'm well enough, and my voice isn't cracking anymore, and I feel good enough with my voice that I can actually do the voice work now. So that's good. I also have another voice work a thing in the works. Um, someone from quite a long time ago got a hold of me, and um, that project's going to be really fun, and I hope to talk about it on the channel soon as well. Anyway, I'm so sorry that this is at the... I'm just going to have at the bottom a skip to if no one wants to hear this, but I really like interacting with my subscribers. You guys are not just people behind a screen. Well, you are, but um, you're also interested enough to watch my videos, and I want to talk to you guys. So yeah, let's get started here. Um... Let me resume my game here, and we're going to grab this music box. Now, this music box is interesting. When used, it only has six uses. When used, it will let you... Well, it will show an item around that you can use, I believe is what it said. Let me look to make sure, because I'm really bad at explaining things. Lucifer has blessed the music box. It will help you find what you are looking for. Okay. And the Ouija board talked about um, light uh, turning on a light... And I think they was talking about a flashlight, personally, but I'm not sure. We're going to put this away. And we're going to run downstairs, because I need to go downstairs. And I think I know what I need to do. I think I need to go downstairs. I need to get the nail gun. And I need to shoot something in the room where um, Jed is at, so he can fall on the um, blade in the back here. Here, I'll open this up, and I'll show you. Okay. I think... 
I think I need to shoot or do something in this room. So, what's up with the skull in the back? Oh my gosh! Ew. I didn't notice that before. I need to do something so he falls on that blade. Yeah? Well, maybe you shouldn't be, um, cutting meat that isn't cutting. Um. Alright, bye. Let's see what it says. He is working here with raw meat. I should try to find a way to mess with him. Okay. Oh, yeah. Did he ask me to move the boxes yet? I need to keep working. Okay, bye. See you later. Bye. See you later. So what I need to do is I need to go outside and I need to, um, I want to go, no, let's go this way first. Where is it on the map? I want to go this way. Oh, I'm having trouble explaining things. Okay, I'm going to talk to this guy first. I want to go and get the gasoline for the guy over here. The guy who, I've heard his voice. He's not in Arcanum, I know that. But I've heard the voice actors in a couple other games I've played before. I just don't know what game. I want to say Metal Gear or something, but I'm not sure. Hello there, little fellow. I have a job for you. Okay. I need some gasoline for my lawnmower. You sound a lot like the guy from Arcanum, though. Okay, uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over here. And we played around with this last time, too. And I want to say thank you to the person who asked me to continue this Let's Play. Yeah, I'll be finishing this Let's Play. We'll be going back to Arcanum. Starbound, the saves have been lost because they updated the game, added a lot of stuff. Game's a lot harder. Um, but I plan... I'm, I'm hoping to do more than one video a day now. So, um, I'm pretty excited about that. Where are the nails at? This, oh, there it is. Okay, I don't remember. Um. Did I do it? <laughs> I don't remember how to put stuff together. I think, there we go. Now I have the nail gun. I think I'm supposed to use the nail gun on Jed. I'm not sure. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go over here. Because I think that's where they said the gasoline was. I'm not sure. Um, let me open the map. There's the garage. Okay, so it's that way. Alright, alright. Let's see here. I just, this house is just so big. So if I go in here, it's so big. Oh my gosh, it's way bigger than I thought it was going to be. That's what you want her to say. Okay. Oh yeah, it's her complaining. He, just comes, here he comes here once a week and he gets twice as much money as me. I already gave him the tape. I already did the wine cellar. Did I get this tool for him? You don't relax as me when I'm nervous. All right. Jazz, Will. Jazz. You like we're jazz? Grab this, and we're gonna go give it to the guy. He just comes here once a week. He just comes here once a week, and he always gets all the money and the babes and stuff. And I'm stuck here doing the laundry every single day. What do I get for it? Nothing. Yeah. Okay. You go back to the kitchen, lady. You go back to the kitchen. Hey, is this what you wanted? Thank you. Yay! I got a present in my room! Fuck the quest! Let's look at the prezi! Oh my gosh! Are you serious? I saw what it was. Did you see what it was? Let's go get it. While we run up to my room, I wanted to thank everyone once again. I'm so happy that I can be myself while recording these videos. I don't I don't fake anything. I'm, act, I'm actually excited when I'm excited. Uh... I like to ramble about stuff sometimes, and it means everything to me that I have. I still have subscribers because of it. <laughs> but let's go up to the room here, and let's have some fun with this. There's another small penis. I'm like, the big penis is downstairs. <laughs> Where's my room at? Um, oh yeah, it's here. Right? Am I right? He's not in there. I saw him in the library when I played before I spilled coffee all over myself. Where's my room at? I'm lost. I don't know where my room is at. 
This house is so fucking big! Here's my room. There it is. Oh my gosh! Ah, oh, yeah, bitches! Controls are shit! Do 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 do. Thug life again. I'm not gonna edit it this time though, because I don't know how to. If you do, if you <laughs> render if a program, an editing program, how do you <laughs> just take one scene? I'm having trouble taking just one. That's why if you notice the episode that had the thug life in it, it was just a screen cap, and you can see part of um, the program I used to render it on the side because the screen was too big. Okay, can we go downstairs with this motherfucker? Okay, controls are like, um, tank controls. Forward goes forward and then left or right spins. My brother calls them tank controls. Like the old Resident Evil controls and stuff. Can we go downstairs with this motherfucker? Okay, we're gonna go downstairs and kill Judd. We're gonna do a drive-by on his ass. Do I have a horn? No, I tried. <laughs> Are you serious? I am such a good boy. Woo! Do -do 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 -do. How do I get off of it? There we go. I'm gonna park outside. <laughs> the controls are so horrible. I'm having no. <laughs> Let's just do this to back out. Okay. Okay, here we go. There we go. So, um, let's equip this. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. So. Can I stand here? Will he see me? Maybe if I stand right here. Where's the switch for that? I, th I, had, I thought I had a sure thing with this gun. But I guess I don't. I don't want to look this up. This game doesn't really require a walkthrough. It's just that I have trouble doing stuff. Hmm. I've done all the quests I can do. Um. Let's see here. Oh no. I forgot how to use my power. Um, there we go. No, forgot how to use my power. Okay, we need to go out here and try to use it, because I forgot how to use it. Oh, yeah, I can't do anything else while I'm, I have the power on. I thought I had another power besides this. Okay. So telekinesis allows me to let's turn that upside down. Telekinesis allows me to pick up things that are pick upable or movable, right? Wow. This I'm sorry, this just got shit fast. I forgot how to play. There we go. Okay. That's how I do it. Alright. So let's see here. Hey mom, how's it going, babe? Okay. What could you do next? See if there's any dirty laundry around and take it to the laundry room. Remember, sort it in the right baskets. Oh my gosh, no fucking way. I'm not doing that shit. I'm killing this. I'm killing a man. No fucking way. I'm killing a man today. Rhyme. Um, let's see what we can do. Um. Oh, there's a switch. I see the switch now. Q. 
computer update. Collect, laund uh, collect laundry into the correct baskets by color. Okay, Jed. He's working here with Rami. You know what we can do? We'll do this. I don't see anything of use in this room. Okay. Hmm. I don't know what to do. I really don't want to look at- What the hell happened to this pig? I really don't want to do a, um... Maybe I can fuck with this. I'm just gonna walk around in this room and see if there's anything I can grab with the telekinesis. <laughs> you like that? No. Hi. What? What's your problem, douchebag? Man, you, you know, I guess I'm just not good at this game. I don't see anything I can do. Hmm. I really don't want to look up a walkthrough, but that's what I'm gonna fucking do! This is really funny because I thought this is what I was supposed to do for a split second and I didn't know. It has nothing to do with the gun. I need to go over here. And break the light. What the hell? Why did them let me explode? How can I use a sword now if I can't see nothing? Hey, Lucius. Come and find me some new lights. Okay, bye. I need to keep working here. For a split second, I thought I had to do something with the light bulb. And see, it's my fault for thinking... I thought that I had to use the weapon I currently had. I need to switch weapons. Um, and in fact, it was not the case. Where's the light bulb at, though? Um, I think the janitor uh, was changing lamps earlier. Well, here's a... Here's the box of light bulbs. Do I have to telekinesis it? There's the light bulbs. Oh no. I'm sorry, I'm sure you guys are screaming at me right now. I grabbed this bulb a long time ago. It's in my inventory. I <laughs> just no, I just remembered that. Let me put it on. It's right here. <laughs> so, man, I am so sorry. I'm so very sorry. Let's get this here. <laughs> here, take this. Hey Lucius, come and find me some new lamps, will you? And now I, I do this. Okay, now we're gonna have some long meat. Do not look that up on Google, by the way. Never look that. Long meat? I meant long pig. Never look that up. Ever. Long story short, it's the name for the cannibals call human. Okay? I had the misadventures of looking it up online. Not a good idea. Uh oh. That's disgusting. That, I can't even look at that. That's so gross. While I drink my coffee. <laughs> if I didn't say already, Lucius 2 is out. Lucius 2 is out. This I situation is ridiculous, Mr. Wagner. <laughs> and I'm holding off the Bureau from launching an inquiry. <laughs> So many I'm posting dying. a deputy at the house. It's more for your own protection. I wish I could explain these as more than accidents, but I can't think of a motive. I can't imagine how anyone could have gotten away with this. We'll get to the bottom of it. Just consider this house on lockdown until something comes up. It wasn't a pretty sight. Sorry, Head sawn in half, coffee. blood everywhere. These freak accidents were keeping me up at night. Four deaths in four months, all apparent accidents. Oh, it was months? I had my doubts. That was days. I still had no clear suspects, no motives, no way to even start an investigation. At this point, I was only sure about one thing. It was not going to end here. I was right about that. Another month went by when we got the call to go back to the house. But this time it was different. This time, it was murder. McGuffin! This time, we, each one was murder. Come on. 
Eat healthily. Now, what I was trying to say earlier, do not look up, do not look up Long Pig. Do not look it up. I know, I cannot stress that enough. All right. Well, let's see what the Ouija board has to say today. Oh, it was a light bulb. Yeah, he, that's what he meant. Rodents don't like me. They die if they taste me. Poison. Rat poison. Rat poison. Rat poison. I think. Yeah. So last time he was trying to tell me a light bulb. Okay. So that helps you out. Is my uh, bike here? No, it's downstairs. This has been Jez Amount. I've been playing Lucius. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you liked the little banter at the beginning of the um, video. I hope all of you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time for another episode of this. Goodbye.